WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. This is Jacob Shoup, and this is the 10 a.m. stock market update. Uh, let's take a look at what we got going on. We had E-mini up about 0.3%, the SPY up 0.28%, that Russell Roaring today up about point, excuse me, the futures at least, about 2.13%. Uh, those NQs flat and the composite flat as well. Dow futures up about 1.09% and that Dow Jones up about 1.11%. Gold doing okay, up about 0.79%, testing that high. We'll see if we can hit it today. Uh, and then silver up about 0.42%. Again, we're testing that 32 level and coming right back down. And I see Mike back in the den. Mike, I need some retroactive silver memes, man. Let's see what's going on here. We have, I'm gonna check out Hecla. Hecla had an amazing week last week. Yeah, still, still cooking. Up about 6.08%. I mean, we're just up 1% today, uh, but it's holding up there, which is pretty nice uh, for Hecla. Let's see what else we got. Tesla coming off a little bit, uh, down about 1.68% today. Uh, highly volatile uh, stock these past few days, or trading sessions at least. And then the dollar index just floating around, bouncing off that 104 level. Anything else of note? Lucid roaring. Let's check my boy. Rivian up about 1.14%, kind of taking back a little bit of what it lost uh, yesterday. Quite a pullback for that yesterday. Um, Interesting stuff. Copper off about 2%. Okay, let us see Goldman Sachs killed. All right, we're trading about 2% to the upside. Reported that its second quarter profits soared 150% from a year ago as investment banking surge. That's the latest signal. Wall Street is warming up after a two-year drought. Net income was $3 billion, which beat analyst expectations. Total uh, revenue of $12.73 billion also rose 17% from a year ago. The results gives uh, David Sullivan, that is the CEO, uh, more momentum following the most challenging year ever. Hey, there you go. Good for Goldman Sachs. He also had some interesting uh, stuff coming out uh, from Bank of America as well that we went over. Investment banking fees rose 21% to 1.7 billion. Huge. Advisory fees were also up by 7%. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we have a replay of Basil on next. He was uh, he was on at 8 a.m. And then we have Steve Rhodes and Larry Pesavento and then the man, Tom O'Brien. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a good rest of your day.